text join, what does that do? Well, obviously it joins stuff together. It joins the content of cells together. So you can do that. There's a, there's a lot of way of doing so in Excel, but some of these methods are better than others. Some of you may know the ampersand method. That's a good one, but this is, uh, is, is, is quicker in some scenarios. So that's why I'm teaching you this because I want you to double your productivity by learning these functions. So text join works like this text join. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. Maybe that that'll help text join. So the, it, it's actually kind of confusing when you look at it here. So that's why I'm explaining this to you. So in text join in the syntax of text join and the syntax is obviously, obviously what you put into the functional function to get a result out of it. So, text join the first argument is what is called a delimiter and that is what goes be in between the things you are joining up so let me give you a bit of background here i'm going to join the first names with the last names i need the full names here i don't need first names and last names separated i want the full names and or in order to do so i need something to join them for me and that's what the text join function does so in the delimiter argument, I can choose if I want something in between or if I don't. And, uh, and, and what I want in between, I can add inside a quotation mark here, quote, quotation marks here. So that could be a space. So uh, quotation mark, space, quotation mark. And that's it for that argument of the, of the syntax. I'm, that's it for the delimiter. Let's move on to ignore empty. Ignore empty is something pretty cool in, in text join. It's only here in text join, so it's, it's pretty cool. I'm just going to say it true and then I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, right now, I'm going to explain it later. And then I can select what I want to join. And I want to join the first names and the last names. And a common thing to do is just to do this and then comma this because that's how the concatenate function works. But this is much better. You don't need to do that at all. You can simply just select these two in the same argument, close parenthesis and hit OK. And then the full name is generated from the first and last names, Abigail Alderink. Pretty nice. And as you can see here, there is a space in between the words because that's the delimiter I chose for that. All right, this is pretty cool. So let me, let me show you some of the powers of this texturing function, uh, because when you compare it to the other functions, you can actually see where, it, where what that is. So I'm going to use the concatenate function here. That's a legacy function, but a lot of people know that and use that. So in that, I can't, I can't do this. I cannot do this because it will not accept this. So I can do a three comma B three and that's it. The problem here is that I also need a delimiter and that I can write in here like this and now it works. Okay, pretty cool. But what if, if, if there were no first names here like this, what if that was empty for some reason, this person did not have a uh, first name or the first name was in the last name column instead, actually the full name was there or something like that. Then you can see there's a space here in the full name column that is unwanted. I didn't want that space to be here. But if I do the same up here in A2, and if I delete the first name, then that does not happen because I am using the text join function. And the second argument of that is this one right here. This true is, is me telling the function that I want to ignore empty instances. And that means that the delimiter is not applied if any of these cells are empty. And that's what makes the difference between concatenate, also concat and text join. And that is why text join is ultimately the best function for joining text, especially if you ha have a lot of it. And by text, I mean the contents of a cell. It could be numbers and stuff, but it's typically text. All right. Let me see what's in the chat. Uh, great to learn about control D. I am, I'm happy to hear that text join a lot. Yeah, it is great. Um, yep. Yep. Exactly. That's exactly what I was uh, talking about. So it's not the same as the concatenate function. This is the difference. 
uh, that the concatenate function does not accept ranges, but also you can't exclude the delimiter. And that is done automatic automatically here in text join. If you like this video, then you really are gonna love my free online Excel training. You can check that out at spreadsheeto.com slash YouTube. But if you wanna hang around, please check out this video right here that YouTube thinks is a pretty good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.